dog's on the move. Ah! Say hi. Hey. What do you think you're going to be? Show us your crawling. <laughs> what are you doing? I've not hopped on the tube in a minute, so hi. It's literally been a month since my last video. I really want to get into doing vlogs because they're just so much more fun to watch back. I feel like, yeah, the shorts are fun and they're honestly so easy to just pump out. But something about a wholesome long video, you can snuggle up on your couch knowing that you're about to watch another stay at home mom. Like I love watching vlogs like that. Hopefully we can get a little more consistent on the cozy long form videos. Today is Sunday and I have a lot of things I have to get done today. I'm really trying hard to focus on having a Sabbath. Sorry, I'm like watching my kids simultaneously. <laughs> hey, do you want to come over here with me? Also, he learned the word dada. Like I knew he would, but they say that they don't, they don't learn mama because they feel like you're a part of them, which even if that's not true, I'm just going to believe that it's true. But I know he's coming for the tripod, so hopefully he doesn't knock you guys over. But as I was saying, I'm trying to protect <sighs> having a Sabbath, like really valuing that in my life because with Zach being gone, it's just so nice to have a day where we truly just relax and enjoy each other's company, the three of us. So if you have tips on not having your Sunday be just this hardcore reset of a day, please let me know. I have some brand deals to film today, which is so exciting because it would be a dream for all of this hard work of vlogging everything to be an income. I feel like that is a big dream for a lot of people, especially stay-at-home moms, because you want to find a way to just stay home with your kids while still providing for the family. It really would be a dream to make money from this. So the fact that I have like three brand deals that I have to film for TikTok, which is crazy. I was sleeping on TikTok at first because I was like, oh, another platform. I just don't feel like it. So I was so stubborn about it. But now I'm just like, it's just too undeniably of a platform. Like you just, too undeniable of a platform. I don't know what I'm saying. It's too good of a platform to ignore. So I've been on there. I literally had a video blow up and got like double the amount of followers, which granted was not a lot. I'm at like 5K now, but growing followers on TikTok is hard. It's really hard. I don't know. So starting to establish a mommy community on there, which is very exciting. Also Merit has this new color called Solstice so gorgeous even on my skin tone it's just like an effortless highlight so thank you merit for sending this good grief it's just so pretty like look at that glow oh, they also sent me one of their lipsticks this is in the color millennial i am not a big makeup girly but i love how minimalistic their makeup is that it just makes it feel like i don't know it's so natural effortless literally obsessed i used to be so afraid to put anything on my lips because they're just so big and i didn't want to draw attention to them but looking back at photos i just looked so crazy not having anything on my lips it's like having a cute outfit and not having a good pair of shoes i'm really trying to prioritize getting ready in some shape or form every single day and obviously it wouldn't be to this degree and zach is with theo right now but typically on theo's naps i I try to just get ready in some way shape or form I've noticed such an improvement and just my overall confidence levels when I've gotten ready in some way so highly recommend doing that if you're not doing that already now let's go do this hair because she'd be looking crazy <laughs> film reveal on my tiktok so if you want to see it you gotta go click the link these are the finished results i feel like they came out pretty good i feel like they're already starting to fall a little bit but much better than what it looked like before 
So, look who is home from the grocery store. Zach is downstairs putting the groceries away. But like I said, Theo has learned Dada and he's starting to look at Dada and say, Dada. So I have to film a brand deal for a baby carrier company. I've actually done a video for them before and it's just UGC, which is just user generated content. So I don't have to post it, but I have to go out and film one. So I think we're gonna go to the town center and just kind of film like us walking around in the carrier. But I have to pick out an outfit that's kind of- oh, wow neutral and I have no idea what to wear what are we doing so we're gonna wait to go to town center until after his next nap because we don't want him to be uncomfortable and then we also need to meal prep a lot so we're gonna knock that out that way when we go out we know we don't have something waiting for us back at the house so I think during his nap I'm probably gonna do some cleaning while Zach is doing the cooking but his next nap isn't until an hour so. Zach's mom actually got Theo a bubble oh. machine, so we're gonna go outside and try it. You wanna try the bubble machine? Look at my little baby. Like, he looks like a full-on toddler right now. You wanna see some bubble? We're just sitting in here because it's really bright in the grass. Theo, you've never seen bubbles before. How do you feel? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Look, honey. Oh, oh, there it goes. There it goes. Oh. It's getting all over you again. I'm not sure how he feels about <laughs> the bubbles just yet. <laughs> what do you think of the bubbles? <laughs> oh, buggy, no, don't touch that. <laughs> Wait till he finds out you can blow them. <laughs> He probably won't play with these forever. He loves these little shapes. He doesn't quite understand just yet that you can put them on here, but he's tried before. You wanna try? He knows how to take them off. So there's some fine motor skills for you. And he loves this little box full of shapes. He doesn't like keeping the lid on there. And his dancing little penguin. When he gets excited, he like clamps up his little, clamps his little feet and hands. <laughs> So he gets excited. <laughs> okay, it's been about three hours since his last nap, so let's get ready for a nap time. You ready? So I just got Theo down and I was getting so emotional putting on his sleep sack because it made me think about when he was little and we do the little swaddles. We have not used those since he was a newborn and we bought so many thinking that he was going to need all of these swaddles. And I'm just like, oh my gosh, he doesn't use swaddles anymore. And I just had this thought like I love vlogging because i'm capturing all of these moments even when theo was just on zach's shoulders and recording that like it feels small right now and it feels like something that we do every day but i just know not even in years in a few months from now i'm gonna look back and be like oh my gosh she was so little it's just crazy how fast each stage goes i went on a walk with my friend Jaden the other day and she just had a baby last month and she was just talking about driving and you have to pull over and feed them because they're like crying in the car and I just thought oh my gosh I haven't done that in so long and I used to pray like Lord please let Theo love the car because he hated the car but I told her I was like it goes by so fast like that stage of life where they're struggling with something it literally goes by so fast and it's helped me overcome just the worry that he'll struggle with something for a while because he's struggled with colic and gas when he was a newborn and he'd cry cry you guys like non-stop it was so bad but i look back and i'm like wow like he just stopped doing that or he used to grunt like crazy which i have a couple of vlogs where he is grunting grunt like so so loud it was so bad and now he just doesn't really do that anymore and i'm just like it's just crazy so i just love vlogging for that reason like capturing these memories looking back and being like oh. 
even when we have two kids three kids one day i'm just it's just crazy to think like it's just us three right now and i'm recording all of this and then a new baby will come and it'll be like what like are you kidding so if you watch any of these thank you so much obviously it would be a dream to have this be an income but i'm also like it's so cool to have these videos to look back on these diaries of not just seeing theo grow up but me and zach grow up and learn and navigate parenthood it's just it's so crazy no one can ever prepare you for parenthood until you're in it and it's the most extraordinary thing ever with the lord let's go downstairs and help zach kind of just want to chill but i need to be productive <laughs> man is awake just got his diaper changed by dada okay so i'm gonna empty out his diaper pail maybe run his laundry it's not super full yet but probably should be a good mother and do his laundry and then restock his diaper drawer i typically keep his diapers in his closet in here we get his diapers from costco they are so good and it actually is a really good deal like me and zach ended up looking up just the average price of diapers in costco it's a steal literally four pacifiers on the floor usually after theo's last nap i like to set up his room for bedtime so i go ahead and just get his pajamas ready just do like a long sleeve shirt or onesie which all of his onesies are dirty i need to wash them so we're just gonna do a long sleeve shirt tonight i get his diaper out and then i have his lotion in here we have been using these teething drops but now that his bottom teeth have poked through he doesn't need them so i'm gonna save them for his next teeth but these were absolutely amazing got a lot of recommendations for these and they worked amazingly highly recommend and then i like to just tidy up his room i love this ball pit because i literally just throw all his toys in there at the end of the day he'll sit in there and play like he loves this thing so i actually highly recommend this as well i got it on amazon if i remember to link it i will not trying to contribute to overconsumption but if you're just looking for creative ways to like keep the toys all together this has been great and i don't get paid for <laughs> telling you to get that. I don't have an Amazon storefront or anything like that, but just trying to help any moms out there that feel like keeping it clean just escapes you. Granted, Theo is literally not even a one-year-old yet, so I'm sure I'll start having toys everywhere once he's a toddler, but this little ball pit has just been amazing. I just throw everything in there. <laughs> also, just gonna reapply a couple of products. I think I'm gonna do some blush. Okay. Very cute. I look like I'm going to like work. I mean, I guess this is work. How exciting! He always throws his toys. Here, I'm gonna put these in here for you, okay? All right, I love you, buggy. We're on the way to Town Center right now to film the baby carrier ad. I'm excited. The only thing I'm nervous about is the lighting is pretty harsh this time of day. It's 4.45 and the sun will not be gone until eight o'clock, but Theo's bedtime is at 7.30, so I have to try to find like a shady area to film it all in. Hopefully it works out. Hopefully he's in a good little happy jolly mood. Got him in the carrier. Now let's do some filming. It's so hot. We are officially back at home. It was just way too hot to be walking around town center, but I did get the ad filmed. Thanks to my handy dandy cameraman. He killed it. He knows what I like. He did a good job, knocked that ad out. It's honestly exciting to be making money as a stay at home mom. Finding creative ways to generate an income is tough. So I'm just super excited to do that voiceover and hand it over to them. I don't even know what I'm gonna title this vlog. I feel like it should be like work from home mom. I don't know. I feel like I'm starting to get some pretty good gigs. So maybe I'm not a stay at home home mom anymore i'm a work from home mom what do you think about that we gotta make the bacon <laughs> it's 
little bit later, we got some pub subs for dinner tonight because we've cooked so much today. We really just did not want to cook for dinner. House is a wreck. That's the one thing about living in a small house. It gets dirty very quick. But Zach is doing Theo's bath right now. I'm gonna close his blinds. That way when he gets out of the bath, it looks like it's nighttime. <laughs> 